In France, it's the final stage of campaigning in the race for the presidency, which will be settled on Sunday. Millions of voters will choose between the incumbent Emmanuel Macron and his rival Marine Le Pen. The two candidates faced each other on Wednesday night in a nationwide televised debate, after which many French voters are still said to be undecided. Our Europe editor Katia Adler has been taking the temperature for this weekend. Could this be France's next president? Marine Le Pen, patriotic woman of the people visiting France's forgotten villages, or far-right nationalist hiding behind a carefully reinvented, softer image? How radical are you? I asked. I'm not radical, sorry. I'm running for president to establish a government of the people for the people, giving back power to the people. But these people, and plenty of others in France, remain unconvinced. So close to the elections, emotions are running high. It's always like this on campaign trail, Le Pen. There's protectors, press and protesters wherever you look. Marine Le Pen remains the outsider in this election, but her popularity has grown. She's focused on voters' number one concern. The spiraling cost of food and fuel here. Marine Le Pen goes to markets to meet working people like us. She's down to earth. We've always liked her. Marine Le Pen, even if she tries to distance herself from the extreme right, that's her background, that's her party. I'm voting Macron to keep Le Pen out. In fact, both presidential candidates have a reputation problem. Bonjour, bonjour. Un petit EU obsessed and elitist <coughs> is how Emmanuel Macron's critics describe him. So at this campaign event in Marseille, he ditched the designer jacket and appealed across party lines to vote for him on Sunday. Le 24 avril. The 24th of April is a referendum for or against the environment, for or against young people. This election can be the start of a new French and European era of great hopes and ambition. Brussels and Washington are watching all this extremely carefully, especially with the raging Russia-Ukraine crisis. France has the EU's biggest military, its second largest economy. Macron wants to use that to boost EU, NATO and transatlantic relations. Le Pen is Euro and US skeptic with traditionally close ties to Moscow. Who becomes France's next president is as important abroad as it is at home for a number of reasons. I'm really well, Monsieur Le Marine Le Pen's programme would directly lead to a total collapse of the French economy, which would hurt the other European countries, also a very important economic partner, which is the UK. Marine Le Pen defends her economic plans, but France's next president, she or he, won't be able to claim the heart of all French people. This is a divided country. Katia Adler, BBC. Let's uh, go to Paris now and talk to our correspondent, Hugh Schofield. Uh, Hugh, we're entering the final hours. How are we expecting the candidates to spend their day? Well, we know that uh, Marine Le Pen is up in her heartland in the north of the country. She had her last rally at a place called Arras last night, and she'll be doing more markets, what she's spent her the last couple of weeks doing, um, meeting supporters. She tends to go to places where she knows she's popular to avoid those protests which Katia's referring to. And uh, the president will be down in Fijac in the, the lot department in the southwest, um, doing one of his kind of uh, civic meetings where he, he talks and gets people to ask him questions. So they're both out campaigning right to the last minute. I mean, the, the polls are, are fairly clear. They show that the president is way ahead of Emmanuel Macron. But both know uh, that there's a big unknown in all of this, which is abstention. Um, and if abstention is high and the, the turnout is low, then that could change the numbers and make a Le Pen presidency more likely. No one really knows. But they're both out um, and will be continuing right to the end of today to encourage those voters 
who went for other candidates in the first round, in particular the left, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who came a close third in the, in the first round race two weeks ago to turn out and vote for them. It looks like most of Mélenchon's voters will, who are going to vote, will vote for Macron. Some will vote for um, Le Pen, but an awful lot of them are just going to abstain. And it's them, in particular, that both candidates are out trying to garner, garner their votes today. Hugh, thank you very much uh, for now. Hugh Schofield in Paris. Lots more to come in the next day or so.